Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I have a little mini haul here for you. I went to a Goodwill and a Salvation Army the other day, and I want to show you a few of the things I picked up. It wasn't great, but I did get a few good things. If you see the upper right corner of the screen, that's one of the good things. And uh, then some kind of average stuff, but things I like nonetheless. Lately, I've been really getting into, like, mid-century, but even, like, just 80s or 90s, like, household and kitchen stuff, because that stuff's kind of getting, getting, uh, vintage now. Anything over 20 years is considered vintage, but really anything that has a uh, nostalgic aspect to it. So you're looking at these two egg beaters. I showed you guys one uh, last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I don't know. I had bought one for a couple dollars, and it sold for $20 plus shipping, so that was pretty nice. And the whole reason I'm kind of getting into these is growing up, the house I grew up in, we had like an undermount can opener, like under under the cabinet mount can opener electric and we had it there the entire time my family owned the house this was since I was just this little kid and last year maybe two years ago I found one at a garage sale it looked just like it man it was like the exact same thing and just something inside of me was like man I want that it's such a stupid thing but I want that I want it again because it reminds you of your you know the house you grew up in it reminds you of your childhood so I bought it and of course the thing didn't work but um, so I could totally see someone wanting one of these old egg beaters for like, hey, my mom used to have that one and make cookies for me, you know, when I was a kid, so I want one of those now. Like, I can relate to that completely. So, um, I did well with that last one. These two, when I looked them up, they looked like they would be worth it. The good thing is most thrift stores will give you a power strip so you can, um, you can check them out and make sure everything's functional. These ones are actually pretty clean. The one I got before I had to do a lot of cleaning so that kind of sucked um I'll go over the other stuff this picture frame thing is $4.99 uh it's got like this little ID tag that you add to it or you know you add the baby's ID tag whatever so uh, there's one on Amazon for $27 right now uh, I picked up this Ninja Turtles alarm clock which doesn't have an Amazon listing and I don't think for something like this I'm going to take the time to create the Amazon listing but I'll put it on eBay um I don't know, maybe $20 on best offer. I mean, I don't know if it's really worth it. I think it had the original price on the bottom. It was originally... Come on, focus. I can't tap the screen right now. Gosh dang it. All right, come on. Seriously? $24.99 was the original price on it. So, uh, anything within that ballpark. I only paid a couple dollars, so I'm good with that. Little <clears throat> knife and scissors sharpener again. I tested it. It worked. I've actually never sold one of these little electric guys before, but we'll check it out and see how it goes. Um, cash flow. I've sold a couple of these. This one's brand new, which is great. You can see it's still in the plastic. There's no barcode, and there's different versions, so make sure you're listing it right. You have the right one, but this one's not as good as the one I had before. I don't know why, because I don't know the difference in them, but the one I sold before, or the last one I sold, I think I've had a couple. Anyways, doesn't matter. I got $200 for, this one I think is only worth 50 or 75 maybe. Um, the last one I had came with a cassette tape. There's also one that comes with a CD that will be attached to the outside of the package, like in its own plastic. So if you find that, uh, make sure you're looking at the listing closely and see if it's one that's supposed to have a CD or a cassette or anything because uh, you won't be able to list it on Amazon if it's supposed to have the CD and you don't have it. So uh, keep that in mind, but cash flow is really good. I actually was pretty excited when I found that. They were just wheeling out the new products on the cart, and I had to run over real quick and snatch that thing because it sticks out pretty well. I mean, when you can see that mouse or whatever it is. Um, over here, something that I see once in a while, and I've sold before, these antique carpet sweepers. And I've gotten, I got one in Iowa, actually, at an auction for like a dollar or two. I don't know what it was. And um, some of them are worth a lot. Some of them aren't worth so much. This one you can see it looks like someone stood on the middle of it. Um, older ones will be made out of all wood where you can see this one's metal. Sometimes they'll have like a belt here so you can see if they work or not. Should be... Ah, dirty falling out of it. Yeah, it's going to have to get cleaned. I only paid a couple of dollars for that. I don't know what I'll get out of it. There's just It's a hard thing to price because if you look up this exact thing, there's almost no results. But they, they will sell. It comes with... Big ass wood handle, and uh, 
the people who collect these, if they were to ever see this video, they'd be really pissed at me because I'm going to sell it without the handle. I'm separating the thing from the handle. Only because the handle doesn't add so much more value to make it worth it, and, but it makes the shipping just ridiculously more because it's so big. Um, I'd either have to ship it as two separate pieces or pay the extra because of the size, and um, I just don't see enough value in that handle to do that. But the people that collect these are like... Um, People who collect vacuums would also collect this. And yes, there are people that collect vacuums. Believe me. Believe me, it's tremendous. China. Um, those people. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get people who just collect anything Bissell or, you know, whatever the company happens to be. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is this thing of tools that I got. $4.99. And I was surprised... This was actually um, the same Salvation Army store. You can see I hadn't even opened it yet. That's what I was just doing. This was the same Salvation Army that I got some other tools at a couple, uh, maybe a month ago now that you guys saw. And, um, again, stuff that's made in the USA when it comes to hand tools are usually good. They'll sell for something. This is also good. Uh, I, I saw it just peeking at the bag. Made in Germany. So, technically, or technically, typically things made in Germany, West Germany especially, uh, will have value. Unfortunately, there's no other brand markings. There's this, and I don't know what it is. It could just be a flaw. I don't even know if it's supposed to be something. A um, little pair of tin snips. It says Forged USA on them. And the brand name is Royal, possibly. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. It's right my finger was there so we'll look those up but vintage tool made in USA that's good some slip joint pliers uh, these are garbage probably oh, what does that say Japan garbage those are going to a garage sale pile for a quarter or 50 cents true fit made in USA one thing about old hand tools is not just the functionality, but the cosmetic condition matters. Like, a lot of these people are collecting sets. You know, they want the entire set of this true fit wrench, right? So, they may already have a complete set, but their set's rusty and nasty. Let's make a little better. So, maybe they want this one because it's in better condition. Or maybe they, you know, maybe there's this bent or something. It doesn't matter. Um, it's usually better to lot similar brands together. You have a bunch of oddball stuff. You can just lot of, you know, a bunch of stuff together. But, but the cosmetic condition does matter. Electrolyte. I think that's how you pronounce it. If you guys can read that or not. Anyways, it's another pair of slip joint pliers. Uh, this is. What does that say? I can't read that. Hang on. Diamond Duluth. Anyways, made in USA, so we'll check that out. And then let's see. This also says True Fit on it, so that'll go with the other wrench. And this also says True Fit on it. Also, don't clean them. I mean, wipe them down, but don't put this on a wire wheel or something. Don't do that. At least I wouldn't do that. Okay, so that's all I picked up on that trip, guys. Hope you liked it. I'm going to do a sales update video here shortly. I especially want to show you guys things that were in previous ride-along or previous haul videos, since it's kind of stuff that you're already aware of that I had. I'll give you an idea of, um, well, it doesn't really give you an idea of how long it took me to sell, because I don't get things listed very quickly, but it will give you an idea of the pricing anyways, and what I made off of it. Alright, guys. Smash. The like button god do i hate that how about click the like button tap the like button whatever you do don't smash it because that annoys me what are the stupid phrase i hate it like it and uh subscribe if you're not already a subscriber i have some more videos here shortly so thanks for watching guys